Hi everybody, I'm Michael, and in today's quick flip, we're gonna show you how you can take a cutting just from the petiole of a Shuffleera, put it in water to make this. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. To start everything off, you wanna make sure you wipe down your cutting shears with at least 70% alcohol, as well as your hands, so that you don't transfer any pathogens onto the plant. Next step is to cut the petioles where they attach to the stem of the plant. Make sure to try to get as close to the stem of the plant as you can. I'm taking my petiole cuttings off of a larger branch that I cut from the mother plant because I want to also propagate this larger piece, but I'm gonna do that via another method. So stay tuned to our channel and we'll show you how that turns out. Another way is just to go to the mother plant and cut the petiole off the stem as you can see here and then you'll have your cutting. Next step is to take your cuttings and place them in a jar filled with water. Make sure the water has sat out for at least 24 hours if you're using tap water and put in one or two petioles max. This is to avoid crowding out the petiole root development. And know that some of your cuttings may or may not survive, that's okay. You probably have at least a 75% success rate doing it by this method. Now we just take our cuttings, place them in a shady area. You want to put them in an opaque container so that you don't get algae buildup. And in about a month you should root and then you can go and replant them. During this one month period, make sure you change out the water once a week. All right, here we are, just over a month later. Let's see, what? Look at that. We got roots, everybody. Let's check the other ones. What, tons of roots. We lost a few, but that's okay. Look at that, wow, wow. So, now we can go on to the next step of installing them. Okay, we have some prepared potting soil here. We like to use miracle Grow potting mix, mixed with perlite in an 80-20 ratio, 80% potting mix, 20% perlite. And all you need to do is just take your rooted cutting, find a little hole, make a little hole in the potting mix. Place your plant down into the mix, gently push the soil back. Try to do it on one side of the pot because we're, we're gonna put two of these. We're gonna grow these uh, two in a container. So we lost a few and the we lost a few cuttings in the rooting process, but we have four that survived. Let me take this one. And now I'm gonna rotate around. You create a little, little another little pocket you just want to bury the the roots and the petiole you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to cause any fungal issues with the the petiole because it's going to be form that's going to form part of the the root mass below you don't want to go too deep you don't want to plunge the petiole too far down and there you have it we just have to add a little bit of water And then we just slide over and do the other one. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Now we're gonna shift over and we're gonna show you one that we did about six months ago and how well she's doing. This one we did about six months ago. It's got a lot of new growth. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.